Morning everyone, welcome to a new video. My name is of course Paul from Orlando Tourist. So after a bad start now today, the, the travel day, which was absolutely awful if you watched that video, if you can go back and watch that and come back to this one. Let's head to Dieselland and then head into Universal. I may take you with me. If you see it on the end of the video, then you know that I've taken you with me. But for now, let's head over. Let's go and check it out. And I'll also show you the rental car that I picked up yesterday, which was a terrible experience with Avis, but not to worry, I'm sure I'll sort it out when I head home. But let's go and check out these ones. So the weather isn't exactly amazing right now, but that's the car right there, the silver one. The Toyota Camry looks decent, but unfortunately it's just not what I ordered. But never mind, I'm sure we'll get it sorted in the end. But we're outside of Dockside right now. I will give you the tour of this place very, very soon. In the next couple of days, you'll see a tour going up. Full resort and room tour, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. But yeah, let's head over to Dieselland now because the weather isn't exactly amazing it's nice and warm still but unfortunately it's just not the warm weather you're used to still grateful to be here loads of universal buses coming in and out it is very very busy at dockside So here we go, we've now made it to Dieselland or Deserland. Tow meter parked outside, a few supercars parked up over here, which look absolutely sun and we're going to take a look at them in a minute. But of course, there's tow meter and of course, a couple of small Volkswagen camper buses, which aren't actually camper buses. So outside with the supercars, you've got a California T on Vossum wheels, which is stunning, but I do wish they were a different colour than that. AMG Mare, a yellow Lamborghini Huracan Spider, which looks absolutely lovely in the yellow, and a 570S. Let's head inside and check out Dieselland. So at the start, as soon as you walk in, you got the Bugs Bunny car right here. You got the Mystery Machine, you got Fab One, Madeleine Monroe, James Dean, and this absolute behemoth of a car at the front right here. But this is the Orlando Auto Museum, so let's go and take a little mooch around and let's see what's about. We've also got access to the James Bond side too. But there's Fab One with Parker driving, of course. That looks absolutely fantastic do like that a lot so here we go inside the auto museum now tons and tons of vespers inside there the elvis car at the front but let's go into welcome to the 20s got a model t at the front here with of course lol and hardy got Pacha 233 clement replica another ford right here and of course the infamous ford model a with bonnie and clyde but this is not the bonnie and clyde car that is still somewhere else moving on to welcome to the 40s boats right here but now we go into welcome to the cars of the stars of course you may recognize this one from the green Hornet, and of course oh my word here it is christine so what we just found out is this is not the actual christine this is actually a replica of diesel and they're actually doing up so of course christine finally was a plymouth fury a 1950 plymouth fury but that's just a replica it looks pretty good and they're going to have some interactive stuff going on with it eventually so they're still doing this up right now so just being told this is not the actual green hornet from the movie or the tv show this is actually the comic book car so this probably went to a few events just to be shown off so now carrying on with the movie theme there is the A-Team's van, Mr. Bean's classic mini. I'm not too sure what this is maybe from. It's got big teeth marks at the top there and a hole in the back. Then you've got Kit, of course everyone knows Kit. Apparently this is an actual replica from what I've been told in the past. Raiders of the Lost Ark right here. Of course, more Raiders. So plenty of other cars here from Knight Rider. Another Kit, Kit convertible this time that over there and then we've got of course terminator rise of the machines the limousine that got shot to bits as we come around the corner you've got the soul train vehicle but my ultimate favorite car of course ecto-1 i absolutely love ecto-1 you've got the willy's jeep you've got the ford deluxe from greece of course with the uh, characters sat in the car right there <laughs> but that looks pretty cool ford deluxe and of course you've got the A-Team's GMC, the Monkey Mobile, and of course you've got Dragula right here too. Of course the car I never mentioned was of course Inspector Gadget's car right here as well. That's also parked here. 
with the music playing in the background I don't know how much of this I'm gonna to have to be able to dub over I may have to dub some stuff over so if you hear different sounds then I can only apologize for that moving around to the other side we've course got Herbie we've got the Gran Torino from of course Starsky and Hutch of course we've got the Robocop's car right here too so it turns out the Starsky and Hutch Gran Torino was actually a screen news vehicle in the TV show the Robocop vehicle was actually in the reboot and believe it or not is actually a close-up car it's actually a 2011 Kia Optima if you can believe that I'll put a Kia Optima on the screen right now for you to see yourself so funny enough this car was actually in Robocop 3 as a stunt vehicle so was that that looks pretty cool but that Kia Optima that's got me absolutely baffled moving on you got the taxi from the curious case of Benjamin Button We've got the DeLorean from Back to the Future, which apparently is, of course, a replica. James Dean's Porsche. Lovely Ferrari there from Miami Vice. And, of course, Speed Racer. Apparently, this is an authentic car filmed with Madonna in, of course, Dick Tracy the movie. So that apparently is an actual Barris fused screen vehicle. And then we've got Roboto Industries, Mini Me's little car. But of course, as we come round, we now come to one of my favourite movies, at least, The Fast and the Furious. First scene of the Fast and Furious movie, Paul Walker in the Eclipse, that's part out here. Then we've got Jeril's Acura Integra, if you remember that scene, but it has got tape around the window, so I'm assuming there's a few issues with that car. And then we've got the Mad Max car as well. And then we've got more vehicles from the Great Race all the way down and then we move on you got of course the Gatsby room and we got a London room right here obviously a bit close to home for me being from the UK pretty cool you've got the Eclipse at the front Paul Walker Jar Rule and of course Dom's car right there and then we got the Interceptor police car from Mad Max Postman Pat Van that's pretty cool of course part one as the number plate now we're inside the Bentley room of course you've got the Italy room right there but tons and tons of Bentleys right here and another little postman path vehicle apparently that one right there was used in the stage show it's got working lights and a horn stunning Bentley Corniche one of the newer cars well not new but newer it's a 1997 and then another classic mini of course some little tiny cars parked outside along with Rolls Royce and a Triumph right there. Now we're moving on into the Great Gatsby. So this thing's got a 120 horsepower. So I did see this car a little while ago, it's a Honda with a mad paint job on it, but look at the seats. And of course the inside, the interior looks like that, and then of course you've got little screens on the back of the skulls right there. And here we come to Muscle Car Alley, the Mustang Mach 1, and another Mustang Mach 1. And then we've got the official pace car of the Indy 500, and then the official pace car of the 76th Indianapolis 500 as well. And of course moving on now we've got the Germany side over there with the classic Volkswagen Golf and of course a few Mercedes kicking about too and of course Beatles. <laughs> so inside this bit tons and tons of cars parked up on shelves a bit like the Reliant Robin up the top right there a couple of cool little pieces all kicking about inside here yeah the little tiny electric car seen something like this on car on counting cars a while back but this is where smart must have got that idea from to park in a space that's absolutely tiny i mean these are all on shelves and they're not that big so what's crazy to me is
I actually wonder because these are on UK plates these two I wonder if they are actually from the UK I mean that must be because it's a right hand drive so this is a Lincoln Town Car limousine which looks like it came from Munster Garage where's the fire hot stretch Lincoln limo fire truck so that's pretty cool if anyone knows anything about that drop it in the comment section down below was that in a TV show that you can watch maybe so Desertland is absolutely superb I mean we're not even done not even by any stretch of the imagination so many cars and vehicles in here it's unreal but now we move on to Batman so here we've got the Bat Cycle only four Bat Cycles were ever built the original one and the original one was the only one ever used in the filming the other three travelled to the show circuit only two exist today that could be one So as well as the Auto Museum, there's tons of stuff to do here, like there's a pinball arcade, there's go-karting and axe throwing as well, as well as some shops as well still kicking about, and of course the cinema at the very top end. So this is going to be cool, you're going to sit in the car, it's going to move up and down and it's going to project the race mark on them three screens right there. So now we've come into the Bond side of the museum, but I've had to move on to the iPhone as I've just exhausted the Sony ZV-1 battery. So let's move on to this and show you the Bond side of things. Yeah, this is the Bond side of the museum, so we've got, so we got the Land Rover Defender from Skyfall. Still got all the damage down the side. That's really, really cool, all over the top. All the holes in the windscreen, all the damage down the side. One of the Alphas. Got the BMW Z8 or Z8, depends how you want to pronounce it. We've got the Jaguar there with the gun on the back and of course the rockets on the front. Plenty more up at the top end over there. But if you're gonna come here, highly highly recommend it it's been absolutely fantastic it's definitely worth 24.95 admission and then of course all the other stuff is also admissible as well and you do need a wristband to get into the bond side of things too so this particular xkr was actually a screen used one and highly used apparently it says to according to this little board right down here this was highly used in the movie die another day so yeah, that's pretty cool to see, especially as it was a screen used vehicle. So we're going to take a little look at it, but I'm pretty certain that was the one that Rick was the one that done up. If you haven't seen that episode, I suggest you go and check it out because it was really cool because you get to see Michael Dezza, of course, who owns all this entire collection, which has been absolutely fantastic to see. Staff here have been absolutely superb. The tour guide who came around, showed, told us a little bit about the vehicles was absolutely fantastic so as my camera's died i'm going to end this video right here thank you so much for watching i truly truly appreciate it links in the description down below to my instagram feed where you're going to see more pictures and videos from this tour and also check out teaser land on instagram i'll leave a link for them in the description down below too so thanks so much for watching thank you to diesel land for allowing us to do some filming at least because you know we didn't we didn't have to they could have said no but thank you so much to them for allowing us to do some filming but well, i'm going to cut it here right now thanks so much for watching i truly truly appreciate it drop a like if you liked it subs if you loved it turn on the notifications so you don't miss future uploads from this channel plenty more still to come and i'll see you in the next one take care guys old kfc you want to be further down, you know, basically the heart of International Drive. You've got IHOP just up the road and then Universal and Volcano Bay is just up there.